Academy. That's the idea. It's nearly Fright Ball. It's my first Fright Ball in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cupcake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yup, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. I'm gonna throw him back! Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Oh, judging any baker working late. And alone. But you've never actually seen J. Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. Yeah. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's give her a fright ball treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of! Ooh, just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop flickering! Oh, it's just a plant. <laughs> Oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing, seriously? <laughs> ah! It is I, Jay Quincy. Who dares bake in my present? Me? No, no baking here! It is you! Strawberry shortcake! <laughs> one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville! <laughs> <laughs> The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the Berry Works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. Hey. <laughs> oh, Harry. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like. Huh? Hello. Well, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers, and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot. <laughs> Gumdrops, you three are the reincarnated spirit of J. Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Mm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter Swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. But, but, but Winter Swirl trees should be magical glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold this cone. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn lemon into the perfect public speaker? 
decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no. I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine, what do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying. Uh, if you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So. Arr! I. Uh, wanna illuminate the. Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. Okay, that was... Mm, well... See? This is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is... Sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. It's a brand new day, Custard. Gotta get dressed. Gotta seize the day. Oops, sorry, forgot to say good morning, Custard. How rude of me. My first weekend in Big Apple City. I have to explore, see the sights, take it all in. It's gonna be magical. <laughs> or maybe not. Whoa, whoa, what happened to exploring the city? Yeah, the city feels a little too big for this old country, Barry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in today. No, ma'am, I mean, sure, the city can seem big and scary, but you have to get to know it and let it get to know you. Big Apple City is no ordinary city, and you are no ordinary Barry. So get out there and show the city what you've got. Fresh new start, a dash of nerves, a pinch of fear. I feel my heart beating fast because I'm here. Where to start? What should I do? Big Apple City, how are you? There's so much here to see. And I'd like to introduce you to me. A little 
sweet, a lot of spice. Just breathe. That's right. This place can be your paradise. Okay, what's next? Where should I go? So many friends to get to know. You know this city life is pretty sweet. And there's so many awesome berries still to meet. Cause I'm no ordinary berry. There's so much I wanna be. I am more than just one flavor. I'm a complicated recipe. Big plans and bigger dreams. And I'm here to set them free. You just watch Big Apple City. Oh, you'll see. The city never sleeps. It's so exciting. So many things I've never seen before. The sights, the sounds, the scents are so inviting. You never know what's waiting out that door. And sure, I may be nervous, but I'm gonna see this through. Cause you have to take the first step. holiday, a.k.a. the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them! A.k.a. love is in the air. <gasps> a meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. Tranquil and tasty. Oh, I love you, Budges, Blueberry. A chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Aw, thanks, Shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Because your name is... <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you! Woo! To Cocoa Bean or not to Cocoa Bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love? Ooh, feelings. Handwritten cards. Mm -hmm. Ooh, writing about feelings. And hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon? Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing Berry Berry Oven. 
So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Meister 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves us. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. Group hug, everybody! Oh, I love you so much! Hurt. The best thing about living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool, and I am going to win. Mess it up! Every, Every berry, berry touches, touches the golden berry. berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. inside of this anyway. Oh, an endless supply of books. <laughs> I'm gonna need more bookmarks. Books? No way. It's a Spicer ZX Kimisaki dirt bike. Sorry, there is no way a Kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries. Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention, the machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once and disappear forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> No, no, no. Chocolate chips? No! Sprinkle chips. <laughs> More coconut flakes with a pinch of... Uh, strawberry? Aw, fiddle faddle! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! no. <sighs> oh, so I guess that means blueberry's the winner? Uh-huh. This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to... The MC! Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. Ooh, let's see what's inside. It's a gift card to Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice. A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? 